Welcome to this MaxQDA video tutorial, which will teach you everything you need to know about the retrieval function and the export of codings. As the name suggests, retrieval refers to the process of retrieving coded segments, for example by activating certain documents and codes. You may know this from the Getting Started tutorial. Documents or document groups can be activated by clicking the grey dot next to their names. All relevant codings are then listed in the Retrieved Segments window. So far so good. Now let's get into the details. This button here can be helpful if you want to automatically reset all activations in your code system. This button on the other hand allows you to reset all activations in your document system. This way you won't have to deactivate all documents and codes individually before you start a new retrieval. If you work a lot with visualizations like colors, you can activate codes not only manually but also by the colors. To do so, just click this little icon over the code system, choose one or more colors, and MaxUDA automatically activates all relevant codes. Below the code system, you find the information to always keep track of how many documents and codes are currently activated and how many related segments are currently displayed in the Retrieved Segments window. You already know the basic functions of the Retrieved Segments window from the Getting Started video tutorial. Now let's get to know it a little better. As a standard setting, a small info box on the left of every listed segment tells you its origin, and you can see a preview on the right. Click the info box and the main window will display the coded segment in the original file. You can reassign the code of a coded segment by dragging and dropping the info box from the retrieved segments window onto the code in the code system. If you want to copy the coded segment instead of reassigning it, just press the ALT key whilst you drag and drop the coded segment. If you want to recode all coded segments from one retrieval with a new code, use this icon for the option Code Retrieved Segments with a new code. Or you use the option right next to it to code all segments with the code currently shown in the quick list, that is, the code you used last. The Retrieved Segments window can be changed to a table view by clicking this little symbol. Instead of previews of the selected sequences, it will then list background information for each coded segment. By clicking on the header of a column, you can for example sort them according to document group, creation date, author, and so on. Or you can change and filter the column content by right-clicking on the column title. You may have noticed two columns that we have not talked about yet. Firstly, the column Comment, which you can use to enter comments on individual coded segments. Secondly, there is the column Weight Score. Here we can assess individual codings on a scale of 1 to 100 to categorize them according to their relevance. This gives us the possibility to quickly differentiate important segments from the less important ones, even if we get to a high number of coded segments at a later point of our analysis. Alternatively, you can enter comments and set a weight for your codings in a document browser by right-clicking on them and choosing the option Modify Weight. Of course, weights are not only displayed in the table view, but they are also shown in the upper corner of the info boxes in the Retrieved Segments window by default. By right-clicking the grey area between the info boxes, you can select different sorting options in addition. The standard setting is that coded segments get sorted according to documents, that means first all the coded segments found in document A are listed, then those found in document B, and so on. But you can also change this setting so that codings are sorted according to the code system or that those codings with the highest weight are listed first. In addition, you can filter your results, for example for coded segments with a weight of 50 or higher. On top of the different displays the Retrieved Segments window offers, there is a third kind of overview that you can get, namely the Overview of Coded Segments. This overview basically contains the same information as the table view of coded segments, but separated by individual codes. You can get this overview by right-clicking a code of your choice and selecting Overview of Coded Segments. In contrast to the Retrieved Segments window, this option will open a separate window which you can move around freely. When you click through the coded segments, a preview of the matching text or image extracts will be displayed in the upper corner. So the overview of coded segments is not completely different from the usual overview in the Retrieved Segments window. It simply offers you the possibility to quickly access specific codes or their coded segments. As a last point, let's have a look at how to export your retrieval. For example, if you want to work on the content of your Retrieved Segments window with an external program. 
Press this button, select what you need in the format options and click OK. You are now shown an overview of all content and you can print it, for instance to attach it to your research report.